Shall we begin? Hi, I'm Alex, an education major here at Heritage University, and I'll be your guide on this video tour of our main campus in Toppenish. Let's begin. We begin our tour at the Student Services Center, the place where you start your journey at Heritage, and the place you'll come back again and again for help with all your services you need for a successful college experience. At the Student Service Center, you'll find the admissions office, financial aid, registrar, accounts payable, and the HEP office. This is the place where you'll find all the answers to your questions. Next stop is the Arts and Science Center, so let's go. Heritage University was founded in 1982 by Dr. Kathleen Ross and two Yakwa Nation women. The new nonprofit private institution named Heritage College started offering undergraduate and graduate degrees. In 2004, Heritage College became Heritage University to reflect a substantial master degree program. As of fall 2014, total enrollment at Heritage was 1,241 students. We're now here at the Arts and Science Center. This is Harley, and she'll tell you what happens here. Thanks, Alex. My name's Harley, and it's so nice to meet you. I'm a criminal justice major at Heritage University. The Arts and Science Center is home to all the laboratories where students are learning from and collaborating with top-notch science professors. Heritage University's nursing program and physician's assistant program is also here. The Arts and Science Center is also home to the Smith Family Hall, where many club functions, informative meetings, and fun campus events are held. And if you need a quiet place to study, there are several areas where you can hit the books and concentrate, whether with friends or by yourself. That's just a few of the things you'll find at the Arts and Science Center. Now let's head over to the Gay and Gym Picket Commons and take a look around there. Heritage University offers bachelor's and master's degrees in 50 different programs. Our intimate campus gives you the benefits of more one-on-one -on -one interaction with your instructors. Advisors and counselors are easy to reach, and you'll get the chance to have personal contact with HU administrators, including President John Bassett himself. We're now here at the Gay and Gym Picket Commons, and Dalton is also going to tell us more about what we'll find in the Commons. Thanks, Harley. I'm Dalton. I'm a psychology major here at Heritage University. The Gay and Jim Piggy Commons is one of three new buildings here at Heritage and it's home to the bookstore, Eagles Cafe, and two meeting rooms. We have the Heritage University Bookstore where you can find all sorts of great school supplies, computers to order textbooks online, and official Heritage University clothing and gear. As we walk, we enter the Eagles Cafe which offers hearty, healthy and tasty items for breakfast, lunch, and an afternoon snack, as well as coffee and soft drinks. There's a large dining area for you and your friends to sit, eat, and talk. You'll also see two conference rooms. First, we have a smaller Barnhill fireside room, which offers a fireplace for ambiance, and the Patricia Wade Temple room, which has more room for larger groups. These rooms are perfect for student club meetings and social gatherings alike. And now let's head over to the Kathleen Ross Center, our next step on our tour. Heritage University has several programs which help students get to college and stay in college. Act 6 is a full tuition, full need scholarship for emerging community leaders who want to use their college education to make a difference on campus and in their communities. Scholarship recipients from applicants representing high schools from across the Yakima Valley are chosen each spring. The HU SOAR scholarship is a full tuition scholarship good for up to five years and winners are also chosen in the spring. The College Assistant Migrant Program, or CAMP, is designed to help first year college students from migrant and seasonal farm worker families. Our financial aid staff members are ready, willing, and available to help you pay for college. And now we've arrived at the Kathleen Ross Center, and Hebert's here to tell us more about what we'll find inside. Hi, Hebert. Thanks, Dalton. I'm Hebert. Like everyone else you've met so far, I too am a student at Heritage. My friends and I have spent many hours in the Kathleen Ross Center, which is named after Heritage University's first president, Sister Kathleen. Once you enter, straight ahead is the Donald K. North Library, which has thousands of books and documents, as well as computers and helpful library staff to help you find items you'll need to complete your assignments. The Writing Center is also in the library. Also at the Kathleen Ross Center is the Academic Skills Center. You'll find tutors eager to help you excel with your classwork. Computer Labs with state-of-the-art equipment will help you tackle those technology-based projects. And the folks in the Career Services Office can help you start down the path towards your rewarding career. And that's just some of the things the Kathleen Ross Center has to offer students. Let's head over to Petrie Hall where Norma is waiting for us. Our main campus of 48 acres is located in Toppenish, Washington. The campus includes a total of 106,000 square feet, with two-thirds of that found in permanent buildings and the remaining in mobile structures. Courses are also offered online and at Big Bend Community College in Moses Lake, Columbia Basin College in Pasco, and beginning in the fall 2015, Wenatchee Valley College. 
And now we're here at PG Hall, where Norma is ready to tell us about what's inside here. Thank you, Huber. My name is Norma. I'm a business administration major here at Heritage University. The new Petrie Hall is the crown jewel of the most recent round of construction here at Heritage. It is home to classrooms which are fitted with the latest technology, including smart boards and Mac desktops that enhance instructor presentation and boost student learning. Petrie also houses the Walter and Peggy Lewis Art Studio, where students work on artistic projects for art curriculum, and the Virginia S. Hislop Gallery, where artwork by students, faculty, and others are placed on display. Here's an interesting fact. As part of the construction, university leaders decided to use bricks saved from the old Petrie in one of the walls of the new Petrie. Here you can see the old bricks artfully arranged among the new bricks. Cool, huh? That's it for this part of the tour. Now let's rejoin Alex at Studios Services Center to wrap it all up. Thank you, Norma. And there you have it, a video tour of our main campus in Topfish. We'd like to invite you to come see the campus in person. Make an appointment by visiting heritage.edu, emailing us, or giving us a call. Can't wait to see you here!